So, what can we do to help? What would you need? A palace on the mountain? <laughs> I feel valued, which I'm trying to figure out how. Really? Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, that's a real problem, man. You know, you yourself have to find that. You can't be I know. in a job. I know that. I know, but I don't know how. I'm just going to do a basic past, present, future. I'm carrying this depression and conditioning from growing up, not valuing myself. And I'm trying to battle that. What I like is to find the people that don't believe that they deserve the help because I've been there, I know how it feels, and I believe in recovery. I believe in people being able to change. Hi, my name is Gabe Van Leeuwenveld, and I'm making this documentary because I believe in the power of film to spark people's imaginations as well as their compassion. In the early days of the pandemic, when I started volunteering at a homeless encampment, that popped up near my house. I had a lot of negative stereotypes in my head about the people living there. As I got to know folks, the stigma and stereotypes were slowly replaced by real people, each with their own story, often facing their challenges with incredible dignity and perseverance. By zeroing in on Damien and Michael and their relationship as it evolved, I hope to take viewers on this same journey of empathy and understanding. Homelessness, substance use disorder, and mental health challenges are on the rise. But before we can do the work of tackling these problems, we have to find a reason to care. And that begins with our ability to imagine and see ourselves in another person's shoes. By supporting this documentary, you can help provide that spark of imagination in countless others. Thank you for any contribution you can make and for sharing this campaign as widely as possible. I got razors and um, I was going to harm myself with them. Love, we own it so I blow it. Why do you wait till you're locked up to start making better choices? I think you're sabotaging your life. You know why? Because you're afraid to go out and get a gun and pull the trigger. You know, I don't always like this work. Sometimes I wonder if I'm doing it for them or if I'm doing it for me. Because if I don't do this, what will happen to me? And I know it's not much for me to have, but I believe that it works. It works for me.